So I'm filming one night looking for objects. I pan my camera down and the wave starts, this hologram wave. I don't notice it. And then it catches up to the camera and I do notice it. I glance at the moon, but when you're staring at things, you know, you don't know whether it's your eyes or what. And then I notice a second wave coming. And at this point, I'm thinking it's my camera. Yeah, I'm thinking it's your camera too. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm R. And in this video, we're going to do a response to Crow 777's video on why he thinks the moon is a hologram. Let's get started. look up at the moon again and you know I just don't know what to think um, I saved the clip out I don't delete it I almost did and I look at it for quite some time weeks maybe looking at it over and over and I'm realizing that you know this is not the way a digital camera malfunctions this is an organic line no pixelation no shredding of the signal well we say that but it has all the features of a digital camera refreshing the image with a rolling shutter for those of you not familiar with the inner workings of digital cameras, a rolling shutter is a type of image processing where the camera captures the image sequentially, updating the pixels line by line. I really hope there is more to this than funny lines in your video. Um, and it finally dawns on me that the pan of the camera proves it. When I pan down, and I usually don't shoot this way, I usually stay centered, almost always stay centered, trying to increase my odds of catching something unusual. Um, but when I pan down, the wave starts, and I pan in front of the wave which catches up to the camera and that is the proof in the pudding. I prefer my puddings a little more skeptical. Are you really suggesting that because you panned away from the line and the line didn't move with the camera that means the moon is a hologram? I'm still not convinced that this isn't simply a video scanline artifact which is a lag in scanning of the image which fails to update the image when a slight change in the scene occurs, especially since your camera is attempting to focus at an extremely distant object moving at a fairly high speed. But let's assume for a moment that it's not the camera. Does that make it reasonable to assume the moon is a hologram? No. There are other more likely options before we reach hologram moon. Why can't it simply be a change in atmospheric pressure, heat distortion or differences in local and atmospheric temperature? There is a phenomenon called atmospheric layering, which occurs when a warm or cold layer contrasts with the atmosphere, causing a wave of distortion. It could even be a result of planes flying overhead. Any of these options are far more reasonable than jumping straight to the moon is a hologram. Moon hologram! Um, you'll notice a couple things. The wave looks like it bulges in the center, as if it's going down. If you stop the frame and measure it, you'll see that the sides are lower than the center, so there's kind of a bulge, and it's also tilted a little bit, and it mirrors the, the tilt of the poles of the moon. Um, I haven't measured it exactly, but visually you can tell. So why didn't you measure it? If this is one of your strongest pieces of evidence, and I use the word strong and evidence loosely here, then why are you happy just eyeballing it? Regardless of the symmetry in the line, or lack thereof, Either way, in what world do you end at the conclusion that the moon is a hologram? After some very shallow research, we found numerous other possibilities which need to be ruled out. And even if those possibilities are disproved, it doesn't make your theory true. You still need to meet the burden of proof. Find out more about your camera and the intricacies of lunar photography before you start on the least likely scenario. Now, a lot of people out there are saying the moon's not there, that it's just a projected hologram. I observe the moon straight for a year every month to catch all these objects that are shot and posted on my YouTube channel. I've spent a lot of time staring at vaginas, but that doesn't make me a gynecologist. Seriously, you'll spend a year on this and the most evidence you can present is some wavy lines on your video. Also, you've provided no details on how this hologram actually works. It sounds super far-fetched. Out of the vast number of questions I might have about this supposed technology, let's ask a simple one. How are clouds flying over the source of the projection never an issue? Um, I can tell you I believe the moon is there, and I believe that they cover it with a hologram so that we can't see what's going on on the face of the moon because we have good enough equipment to see these things now. Have you really thought about what you are suggesting? The level of technology, which by the way doesn't exist, required to create a hologram of that scale would cost billions. Not to mention the cost of actually running something on that scale for 24-7. Why would the government, the Illuminati, the freaking reptile lords or whoever, why would they bother hiding this technology which they could have sold for billions instead of simply hiding a secret moon base or whatever it is inside of a crater or use physical camouflage? There are far more effective and cheaper options than a hologram. So what I did is I bought a cheap light spectrum tool and a prism 
and I observed daylight, I observed false light, man-made light, light bulbs and things like that, and then I shot through my telescope and just off a full moon the spectrum of the moon with a prism and the light spectrum tool. And it's not 100% scientific, but I can tell you that it's damn close to sunlight. So if the light I collected is off a hologram, it's a damn good one. Okay, firstly, that methodology doesn't sound very scientific. And secondly, if we accept your results, it argues against your conclusion. You performed your own test, as poor as it was, and it points to the exact opposite of your conclusion. Seriously, you test the light from the moon, and it comes back as likely to be sunlight, and your response is that it must be a damn good hologram. You know what makes a lot more sense? That it's freaking sunlight! What logical reason do you have to still think that there is a giant hologram covering the entire surface of the moon for some unknown purpose? Well, at least you were honest about the outcomes of your experiments. Again, my guess is that when the moon's in like quarter phases or slivers or other things, you're actually looking at the moon. I think when it becomes starts to get full or well lit on the face, they cover it with a hologram so that we can't see what they're doing under there. Um... Well, I'm guessing it might be a big ask, but maybe you should think about that critically for a second. You realize the moon rotates, right? Just because it's a half moon doesn't mean whatever they are hiding would be in the dark section, so just running the hologram during full moons makes no sense. Also, just to remind you, the world and the moon are spheres, which means from somewhere on the planet the moon is always visible. Your suspected hologram would have to be running 24-7 year-round. Does it still sound reasonable? Spoiler alert, no, it doesn't. It's not what you think it is. I can tell you that. I've observed other people's video work and uh, my own intuition having stared at, at the moon for a year. I can tell you it's not just a rock in space. Um, there's a lot going on up there. And I hope that a lot of people can see this clip because this is the real deal. Well, how could we argue with your intuition? I honestly don't know how you can spend a year looking at the moon and maintain this fantasy. The only evidence you provide is some lines running through a video. Your own experiment contradicted your theory, and there are a dozen far more reasonable explanations than the one you present. This is a perfect example of why critical thinking is important. You can save yourself a lot of time and energy by asking the right questions instead of following intuition. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for weekly videos, hit the like button, and share this video around to help us raise the bar of public discourse.